Hello and welcome to the Jackson State Sports Highlight Show. I'm your host, Rob Jay. In just a moment, we'll hear from JSU interim head football coach, John Hendrick. Jackson State's remarkable run to the SWAC East title continues today in Montgomery, Alabama against the Alabama State Hornets. ASU comes into the game with a 2-2 two two record. They are still alive for the SWAC East title, while Jackson State comes into the game at 3-2. The Tigers are still alive for the SWAC East title. So in a sense, this game between Alabama State and Jackson State is an elimination game for the Southwestern Athletic Conference Eastern Division titles. Again, both teams are sitting even in the Eastern Division with Alabama A&M and Alcorn State in division losses, and both are one game behind Alcorn State for the best overall record. Jackson State fired Coach Tony Hughes, and since that firing, the Tigers have not lost a game, having defeated Prairie View a week before today's game with Alabama State. Now, earlier in the week, Jackson State interim head coach John Hendrick talked about that loss, or actually that win against Prairie View, and today's game with Alabama State. Okay, well, uh, you know, the game was a, ended up being a hard fought game at the end. Uh, I think the thing that was really showing for us that really helped us is that we got on them early. Uh, we hit him with an onslaught early in the game. We uh, scored on our first drive. Uh, immediately, we went and turned the ball over on that next on the kickoff and uh, put us on the one yard line and took the ball in and then uh, made some more plays on offense. Got a 24 nothing lead and it really helped us. Uh, when they put their uh, second string quarterback in, who was really good. I mean, he's a <laughs> kid's going to be a really good player. Uh, could throw the ball well, ran the ball well. Uh, they made a few plays, made it a game at the end. But our kids were resilient. Um, they. Uh, re-established themselves late in the game and we end up coming out with a victory. Well, it, it, it gives you an opportunity to get up and to be vibrant for the game. You know, every time I line up, it's for something. And uh, we set the goals at the beginning of the season and uh, the goal was to be SWAC champs. So hopefully we'll play well Saturday and put ourselves in position to, uh, to play in that game. It's, it's always, uh, you know, being a defensive guy and a defensive coordinator, it's always stop the run and the thing that's been our Achilles heel is that we've had quarterbacks make runs against us and uh, we got to make sure that we keep this one corralled because I think if we keep this one corralled it'll give us an opportunity to be successful. Like I always talk to them, the only pressure that you have in life is the pressure that you put on yourself. So all pressure comes from within inside you and so we're going to do everything we can to make sure that we alleviate that pressure by what we do in practice and and I'm not going to put any pressure on it because all I ask them to do every day, if we play hard and we go out and play the way we're capable, all that stuff will take care of itself. So uh, pressure, I'm not worried or concerned about that. I'm not concerned about our kids being under pressure because we're going to go out and have fun playing football. And as long as we're playing hard and having fun playing football, we're going to be fine. That's Jackson State interim head coach John Hendrick. In just a moment, we'll take a look at the first half highlights of Alabama State and Jackson State. You stay with us. Oh, yeah, man. But look, it's game day, man. We in that thing, you know, in the real zone, shit, man. Yeah. We got that thing. Hey, man, watch this jump, man, for real. Hey, live TV. We fight up, 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 we
So she said no to this injustice and yes to transforming lives. It's this drive, this compassion that inspired AARP. Today, we empower people to choose how they live as they age. We advocate for health and financial security. We strengthen communities everywhere. We are AARP Mississippi, creating real possibilities. Jackson State University has always been one of my dream colleges. I like working with kids, and I want to help make a difference in a child's life. The educational department, very supportive. They make sure that you have the tools and resources, and they push you to your very limits to make sure that you can succeed. I love being here at Jackson State. You have the tools, the resources here to help you in whatever career field you decide. I'm Khalil McGowan, a freshman elementary education major here at Jackson State University. back to the Jackson State Sports Highlight Show. Again, I'm your host, Rob J. In addition to trying to compete for the SWAC East title, Jackson State will be trying to end a four-game losing streak to Alabama State. JSU will be without the services of its leading rusher in Jordan Johnson, but the Tigers will have the services of quarterback Jared Hayes, who is certainly becoming into his own here in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. So let's take a look now at those first half highlights of Jackson State and Alabama State. Call the coin toss. This is your tails and this is your heads. What's your call? Tails. Tails is this call. It's heads. You want to toss. You would like to receive, kick, or defer? Defer. You want to defer. You want to receive, correct, Jackson State? Which end would you like to defend? All right, great. Alabama State won the toss and deferred to the second half, putting the Tigers' offense on the field to open the game. Second down and six now for the Tigers from their own 29. Hayes rolls to his left, buying time, throws. A man is open. It's Williams. He just threw it a little bit too long at midfield and is incomplete. Third and six for the Tigers. No score. We're just underway here in Montgomery, Alabama. Two receivers to the right. One stretched out wide to the left. There's a snap. He's going to pitch it to Brown. He's got a lot of room. He takes it across the 30. And across the 35, it is a first down for the Tigers, and that's an AARP of Mississippi first down for JSU. Javon Brown now in the ball game for the Tigers. Had a big game last week against Prairie View. Hayes back to throw, going deep down the left side. He's got a man open that Shoemake down at the 30, and he makes the catch for a first down. Good job. Just stretching the defense vertically. Just ran a go route. They brought the pressure, the offensive line. And the most important thing, the running back picked up the extra man. That's what gave Hayes the time to get the ball out of his hands. And they'll give it to Quinton Brown, and he is thrown down a loss of about six yards back to the 38-yard line, Coach. Yeah, Jackson State came out in this formation, hadn't ran all year. Hayes back in the shotgun. He'll hand it off. Not much there. As he takes it to the 35-yard line, it's going to be fourth down and about 15. All right, so that drive started promising, but it ended at the 35-yard line. Jocelyn is on to punt it away for Jackson State. The Hornets are very efficient when it comes to returning kicks and punts so far this season. That kick is going to bounce at the 10-yard line, and that's where Alabama State will start this drive. One back in the backfield standing next to Davis. Now a man in motion from left to right. Davis back to throw with time. Here comes the pressure now. He steps up and he's going to be brought down. He is sacked back at the 31-yard line. Khalil Johnson on the tackle for Jackson State. Davis again in the shotgun. Here's a man in motion going behind Davis this time. And he'll hand it off. Not much there at all. What a play by Jackson State. That's C.J. Holmes on the tackle. Jackson State showing blitz. Here they come. Davis hit as he throws. He's going deep and a little bit too long down to the 25-yard line. Two defenders back defending. It's going to bring a fourth down. Great job by the defense coach. Shut him down. Under seven minutes to go here in the first quarter. No score. Hayes rolls to his right. Looking. Has time. Oh, and he's brought down. And this is going to be a face mask on Alabama State. Now, the ball came loose. ASU picked it up and ran it into the end zone. But hopefully Hayes is not hurt. First down for Jackson State from its own 44-yard line, operating from right to left. Hayes, the quarterback in the shotgun, takes a high snap, has time, steps up, 
throws along the right side. He's got a man, and what a catch down at the 30-yard line. Shoemaker making a catch over an Alabama State defender for another AARP first down. Good job. Yeah. A 36-yard attempt by Christian Jockman from the right hash mark. There's a snap, ball placed down, the kick is up, it's long enough, and it is good. Jackson State get us on the board first with a 3-0 lead by Christian Jockman. First down for Alabama State, now from its own 26-yard line. Davis swings it out to the left side, it is intercepted wow. at the 15, <laughs> he takes it to the 10, 5, touchdown, Jackson State. That's they are, coach. <laughs> They actually just tried to throw it. You know, they went four receivers to that sideline, and it was just a tip ball. The ball was well overthrown. Jackson State would have a productive first quarter as they would lead it 10 to nothing after one. down and 17 for Alabama State from its own 11. Oh, this That's may a be a lateral. Ball, coach. It's a lateral. It's at ball. the one, and it goes out of bounds at the one. It was a backward pass, so it was a lateral. It went out of bounds at the one, and that's where Alabama State will have it. The official, Jackson State, wants a safety. Ruling on the field was a backward pass. The ball went out of bounds at the one-yard line. There's a snap, and the kick is a short one, a line drive, a chance for Newman to return it. He's at the 35-30. Newman pushed out of bounds inside the 30 to the 28-yard line with a minute five to go and two timeouts for Jackson State. A minute to go in the second quarter. Hayes now fires underneath the catch, is made by the big tight end. He's inside the 20 and flipped at the 19, and that is enough for Jackson State first down. Another AARP of Mississippi first down. A Darius Kraft, the big tight end from Gulfport, making the catch for the tight. Second and nine for Jackson State. The ball at the, the Hornets' 19-yard line. Hayes, back to throw. Takes a snap. Throws. A man is open at the five. Touchdown, Jackson State. That's a look at the first half highlights of Jackson State and Alabama State as the Tigers lead going into the second half. We'll have those second half highlights for you after the break. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi partners with businesses across the state to help them be places where people are encouraged to make healthy choices. With the compassion of the cross and the security of the shield, we support you in the places you work every day. Because it's about you, your health, your life. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi. Live healthy, live blue. It's good to be blue. Our story begins more than 60 years ago inside an abandoned chicken coop where our founder discovered a retired teacher living. No home, no health care. So she said no to this injustice and yes to transforming lives. It's this drive, this compassion that inspired AARP. Today we empower people to choose how they live as they age. We advocate for health and financial security. We strengthen communities everywhere. We are AARP Mississippi creating real possibility. Circuits deliver power by making connections. At Entergy, we believe that works for people, too. The next generation is our connection to the future. So every year, Entergy invests millions of dollars in education to teach skills for better jobs, to build a brighter path. To us, making connections means more than electricity. It means fulfilling promise. And together, we power life. Entergy. To whomever said, don't bite off more than you can chew, we humbly offer a couple of exceptions. Introducing the all-new buttermilk and hand-breaded Southern Sweet and Smoky and Southern TLC Chicken Sandwiches. One has sweet pickles, shredded lettuce, smoky backyard sauce, and a potato bun. 
The other is an undeniable classic with lettuce, tomato, and mayo. Zaxby's. Friends. Family. Flavor. Order ahead on Zaxby's.com or use our app to skip the wait. Welcome back to the Jackson State Sports Highlight Show. Again, I'm your host, Rob J. As we get set to look at those second-half highlights, Jackson State trying to maintain that lead over Alabama State. The Hornets have not scored on Jackson State so far in this ball game. Before we show you the second-half highlights, here's a look at both bands. The third quarter opened with Jackson State kicking off to Alabama State, but the Hornets were not able to do anything with the football as they would go three and out, giving it back to the Tigers. Hayes steps away from the center. Now he's underneath center. Put it back in the backfield. That's Harper. Harper is going to find a hole. He takes it inside the 40, and it's another first down for the Tigers, an AARP of Mississippi first down to the 45-yard line. Fourth down and one. It's a long one at the Alabama State 29-yard line. They give it back to Brown, and he busts his way, and, oh, he didn't get it. I don't think he got it, Coach. Didn't get it, Coach. Pearson. Back in the shotgun, they have three receivers to the right. Pearson takes a snap, he comes to pressure, and down he goes! And he throws the ball away, or did he lose it? No, I think that's intentional grounding, Coach. Jackson State first and 10 from its own 32, and this is a big hold by Harper as he takes it 15. He's still on his feet as he takes it into Alabama State's territory at the Hornets' 40-yard line. Jockman on for a 38-yard field goal attempt, and it is good. Jackson State extends to a 20 to nothing lead. Uh, 
Scott takes the snap, back to throw, goes towards the end zone. It is intercepted in the end zone. It was batted around, intercepted. He's up to the 10, 15-hour flag down in the end zone. And I don't know what this is going to be about, Coach. They're going to call a block in the back. After further review, with the block, illegal block in the end zone by the defense, by rule results in the safety. Therefore, it's a safety by JSU, two points for Alabama State, and Jackson State will be kicking off to Alabama State. Oh, my wow. goodness. Did you? Oh, my Please goodness. reset the game clock to 7-14. So it's a Thank safety. You. Wow. A block in the back in the end zone results in a safety. Alabama State with two points, and they will get the ball back with 6.57 to go. Jackson State's bid for a shutout ended when Alabama State was given two points on a safety, but the Tigers would win it 20 to 2 to keep their hopes alive for the Swackies title. Don't come over my side and start no trouble, man. Coach, congratulations on the win. What are your thoughts on the game? Well, you know, we, we got to do better. I mean, we, we need to be more a little bit more consistent on offense. Uh, we need to make less mistakes, even on defense, because we gave them some things that, uh, that, that, that they didn't hurt us, but we gave up some things that we shouldn't have given up, and uh, we just need to get more consistent. And if we'll be consistent running the ball and passing the ball on offense and not making mistakes on defense, we can be a really exceptional football team. Next week, Alcorn. I Man, think that's all I need to be saying. Is it? Hey, can it get any better than that? Can't get any better, can't get any better than that. Right? <laughs> it, it's one game against your rival, and it's for the Eastern Division Championship. So, so let, let's let's put the tee the ball up, let's kick it off, and let's go. So there you have it, the first and second half highlights of Jackson State and Alabama State. The Tigers defeated the Hornets 20-2, which means next week's game against Alcorn State will be for all the marbles in the SWAC's Eastern Division. We'll be back to wrap things up after the break. Circuits deliver power by making connections. At Entergy, we believe that works for people, too. The next generation is our connection to the future. So every year, Entergy invests millions of dollars in education to teach skills for better jobs, to build a brighter path. To us, making connections means more than electricity. It means fulfilling promise. And together, we power life. Entergy. To whomever said, don't bite off more than you can chew, we humbly offer a couple of exceptions. Introducing the all-new buttermilk and hand-breaded Southern Sweet and Smoky and Southern TLC Chicken Sandwiches. One has sweet pickles, shredded lettuce, smoky backyard sauce, and a potato bun. The other is an undeniable classic with lettuce, tomato, and mayo. Zaxby's. Friends. Family. Flavor. Order ahead on Zaxby's.com or use our app to skip the wait. The greatest impact we can have on the future is teaching our children to live healthy at home, at play, and at school. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi partners with our schools to support them in being places where our children learn about healthy habits and where they are empowered to achieve full academic potential. With the compassion of the cross and the security of the shield, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi is building a healthy Mississippi. Our story begins more than 60 years ago inside an abandoned chicken coop where our founder discovered a retired teacher living. No home, no health care. So she said no to this injustice and yes to transforming lives. It's this drive, this compassion that inspired AARP. Today we empower people to choose how they live as they age. We advocate for health and financial security. We strengthen communities everywhere. We are AARP Mississippi, creating real possibilities.
Welcome back to the Jackson State Sports Highlight Show. Jackson State in a great position now as the Tigers will play for the Eastern Division title next week against Alcorn State down in Lorman, Mississippi. Now for JSU to host a game, here's what has to happen. Grambling has to beat Southern in the Bayou Classic, and Jackson State has to beat Alcorn by 18 or more points. Now, if Alcorn wins that game, the SWAC championship game will be played in Lorman, Mississippi. If Southern defeats Grambling, the SWAC championship game will be played in Baton Rouge. You get all that? So we will have an exciting weekend of football next weekend as Jackson State travels to Lorman to try to defeat the Braves and win the SWAC's Eastern Division. Jackson State has defeated Alcorn two years in a row, and they're going to try to make it three next week down in Lorman. That's a look at this week's show. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you back next week. Hey, honey beans, I know you want one of them. But...